Hey y'all, welcome back to Life on the Ridge. Uh, before we get to today's video, I wanna tell you about my buddy Tyler's uh, custom bait and lure company that he's got. Small company that he started. And uh, we'll show y'all this, uh, this shirt that he sent me. There it is. Fishing Fool Lures. Got some cool shirts. I like this slogan, a bad day fishing is better than a good day at work. Ain't that the truth? But uh, show you some of these lures that he's got. So as you can tell, he's got some nice lures here. This is a couple that he sent me. And uh, he hand paints every one of these. I haven't uh, had a lot of time to go uh, fishing here lately. Life's been pretty busy. But I can't wait to go try these out. So I'm going to leave a link to his uh, website and his social media down below. Go over if you're any kind of fisherman or know somebody's fisherman. Hey, the holidays are coming up. Christmas is coming up. These make great stocking stuffers. Hand painted custom baits. You can't get any better than that. Check out his website and, uh, and support his business. I'll leave the link to all of his stuff down below. But let's get to today's video. So in today's video... I've uh, I've been seeing all these other YouTubers do these food plots with uh, a box blade, and I wasn't gonna do a food plot this year because I don't I don't own a box blade, so I was gonna have to go bar one, and I just didn't feel like going to bar one this year, and I'd pretty much just kind of given up on the idea of doing a uh, food plot, but I've been seeing these other youtubers do it and other people do it just to try and i said well heck why not you know uh so i've got a box blade here uh and we're gonna try to put a food plot in with these uh, ripper shanks and uh, just to see what it does i mean it's better than doing nothing at all definitely didn't wait as late as i did last year to do it last year it was uh early november and it never did really come up that good and i about waited too late again uh, but I just decided to do this uh, the other day. And uh, well, we're going to try it. Just see what it does. I mean, uh, I think something will come up. We'll just, we'll see. What I got to do is, uh, I got to go buy another ripper shank. I've got these four. Got one in. And uh, I'm missing one. So we're going to ride to town and see if we can find a uh, ripper shank to match that that's a really old box blade and uh so there that's the old style but we're gonna see if we can go find a uh ripper shank we're gonna come back and uh see if we can uh make a food plot with a box blade and we're back so we uh ran to town got us a shank for the box blade a uh, little different, but uh, the bolt holes are the same, and uh, it's going it's going to work just fine for what we need it to do. A little bit longer, uh, but hey, it's all right. Went ahead and got some new pins. The uh, was just using bolts, so while I was in there, I got some pins. So yeah, we're ready to roll now. Now we're going to go. And, well, we got the bush hog hooked up do a little bush hogging where we're going to do the food plot and then we'll come back hooked to the box blade all right so we're right here where the food plot's going to be and if you watched last year's food plot you know we're in a different location this year last year uh it was a little further up the hill and uh, just didn't really have a lot of deer come to it uh, because I think it was a little closer to the road so you could get that road noise as a car would pass. So down here, we're a little further down into the bottom. We're closer to the creek, which I know the deer are staying close to the creek and when they're, they're traveling the creek when they come through here. So uh, we're gonna try this year, this spot this year and see how it works. I got a few trees I'm gonna have to cut and I'm uh, gonna use the old craftsman chainsaw.
this. That's your chainsaw? Yeah. It is. It's good to work, guys. Get to work, guys. Tell you what, we're having a heat wave in Mississippi in October. You working on something? Yeah, I'm just working on a Oh, I gotta show y'all something. I'll check this out. So, uh, yep, that used to be my tripod. Uh, yep, that happened. So I had it sitting on the tractor, was backing up to park the bush hog so I could hook up to the box blade and I didn't realize that the tripod had fallen off of the tractor yep that's just how it goes sometime I guess so oh sorry I'm all done nasty and hot y'all I done got hot hooking that box blade up it's right in the sun and uh got a little warm but yeah ran over my tripod so Guess I'll be ordering a new tripod. All right, well, we've made it back. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the uh, little seed spreader, put some triple 13 uh, fertilizer in it, push it around. Then we're gonna see how well these uh, shanks in this box blade does kind of till the ground up with the shanks uh won't be necessarily tilling it but you know what i'm saying and then we'll come back spread our seed and then probably run over it a couple more times to try to get it down in the ground but uh yeah there's the shanks on there and there's that new shank there so uh right there so it uh it might look a little different but it's the same level as the rest of them so i think it'll do fine you ready to get to work didn't do too bad got it all uh disked up broke up whatever you want to call it with the box blade and uh so it 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 has its fair share of challenges some places dug oh me Outside is his happy place. So, uh, yeah, it has its fair share of challenges. Uh, but I think for over, for the most part, 
overall I got most of the dirt broke up. I'm gonna come in here now and uh, spread my seed. And then I, I've got an idea to uh, level out this dirt. So y'all stay tuned. Change plans. We're gonna try to level this first because there's some big chunks of dirt and there's some deep spots. I'm afraid the seed's gonna be too deep in the ground. So let me show you what I got in mind to uh, level the ground. So instead of using the box blade, because I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to get it good and level, I'm going to run over it a few times with this pallet tied behind the four-wheeler, and uh, I think that's going to level this up. Hey, life on the ridge. Right here on the ridge, we, uh, we use what we've got, and I think this is going to work. Let's find out. So that worked a little bit. Uh, I didn't want to do it with the box plate because I knew I was going to be working that thing nonstop just because this is on the slope and it's not exactly level. So uh, this is just going uh, to be a quick throw uh, food plot, see how it does, uh, just because we've laid it so, so late in the year. So <clears throat> what are we going to put in the ground? This is going to be our seed. we got some Pennington. Rackmaster, this is the powerhouse. They got several different kinds, uh, but this is the one I, I decided to get. And uh, this is the different things that are the seeds that are in it. This has got the chicory and the uh, white clover. And so, according to the bag, we're still in the planting date. So, hopefully, it's going to come up good. I don't know, I've never used this stuff, so we'll see. If y'all have used this before and had good luck with it, let me know. And I've got some uh, turnips from last year that we still had left over. We're going to mix it in. And uh, if it all comes up, which I think it will, but if it all comes up, it should be a nice little spread for the deer to eat on. But let's get to spreading some seed. So I mixed the uh, turnips in with that other seed. And uh, it says a whole five-pound bag of that Pennington's Powerhouse that I put in here. It says a whole, a whole five pound bag can do uh, one acre. So we're gonna put it on thick and uh, see what comes up. There's the uh, rack master. And there's the punch. This is it. We're putting it on pretty thick, but hey, this is the only food plot we're doing. And we bought it, so we might as well use it. You can do the rest of it? Yeah. Yep, pull it through. Walk down there now. That turned out pretty good, y'all. You can't see any of my seed. It's down in there. There's the seed right there. We'll cover that back up. That worked a lot better than I thought it would. I know, you can call me crazy. But, uh, hey, that's just making use of the tools you got on hand. And I've seen, like I said, I've seen all these other people trying to... Uh, do these food plots and planting things with the shanks on a box blade. I said, well, heck, let's try it too. 
because it looks pretty good. We got a few high spots here and there, but for the most part, that pallet, uh, as I was dragging it behind the four wheeler, really uh, helped to kind of knock out some of them big clobs of dirt. But uh, yeah, looks pretty good. So the good thing is, uh, in about two days, we're gonna get some rain. And uh, it's still pretty warm in Mississippi, so I think it all should come up pretty good. But I uh, got our corn feeder down here, and uh, I'm excited to try this new spot. I think we'll get uh, some better deer and some more deer right here. Just want to take y'all along for the ride. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I know it's been a long video, but like I said at the beginning of this video, go check out Fishing Fool Lures. I'm going to leave his link to his website down here below. Uh, hey, pretty lures. I can't. Like I said, I haven't had much time to go fishing here lately. I'm excited to go try them out. But uh, make great stocking stuffers. Christmas is coming. Or just buy them and go fishing. If I keep getting weather like this in Mississippi, I think I'm going to go fishing. But uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. I'd love for you to subscribe. And uh, click that bell so you don't miss out on uh, other videos. And uh, see you on the next one. What do you think about planting the food plot? Like it. You like it? Yeah. Do you think um, we're gonna see some deer? Yeah, and eat it up. And eat it up? Yeah. You gonna shoot a deer? Yeah, with Dave's gun, with my gun. With your gun? Yeah. Mm, what kind of gun you got? <laughs> a BB gun. <laughs> a BB gun? Yeah, do I got a BB gun? I did, you don't. No, in the closet. No. A big gun. A big gun. A big gun? Mm -hmm. I do? No, a little gun. What's a little big gun? Big one? What's a big little gun? A big little gun? I got a big little gun. Do you hear that? I you heard. hear that? I got a big old gun. Well, a little gun. I bet you'll kill a big one. No, a little one. A little one? No, not a little one. Who is your big, big one? one? Yeah, a big one. Like this tall? Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, gotta go. Gotta go. Oh. <laughs>